What's up guys? Welcome to your 11th, I believe, Pi game tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to build a really cool um, application that's going to draw multiple lines using a mouse event. So it's a little different than draw line because draw line just draws one. But with draw lines, you can give it a bunch of different coordinates and it can draw lines in between those coordinates. So you can either type them in manually or you can supply them with clicking your mouse button and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. What we're going to do is first make an empty list called points and set it equal to this. And this is going to store all the points, both x and y axis. So in order to provide it with points, we need to generate an event to every time you click your mouse button down, it adds a new point to that list. And this is incredibly easy, so go ahead and click if event type is exactly equal to mouse button down make sure I spell it right which it did if every time you click the mouse button down what we want to do is take that list called points or whatever you named it and we want to append and remember you learn this in your Python tour tutorials this means add something to the list of points what we want to add is the event positioning now the event positioning is at x and y coordinates. So every time that we click this mouse button down, we want to take whatever those coordinates are and add it to our list of points. So now we have a list of points every time we click the mouse button. So now let's do something with that list. Right under your four, make sure you let me tighten this up a little bit. That's what she said. Right under your four, what we want to do is make a simple if statement. If the length, and remember, length is a built-in attribute of every list. If the length of points is greater than one, and this is only because we need it to be two or more. You can't draw a line if you only have one point. That doesn't even make sense. You need at least two points to draw a line. So if the length of points is greater than one, then what do we want to do? Well, what we want to do is pi game, and I think you know what's coming here. Draw lines remember lines is plural screen color and remember I made my color variable up here I forgot what it was but anyways false and what false means is whenever you draw um, two or more lines if it's if it's true it'll automatically create a line connecting those two points if it's false then it doesn't automatically create a line so this is why you want a false um, after this tutorial, after you're done with this, go ahead and turn it to true and see what happens. And then you need your list of points. And again, you could type these in manually, um, one after another, but we're going to gen generate a list dynamically using this. So it's going to supply it for us. And our, the more points we click, the list is going to keep growing and growing. And of course, it takes an optional parameter which is the width of the line. I'm going to make mine like mm, 5 or something so you can see it easy. So now let's go ahead and uh, save this. Everything looks like it's good to go. And run it. Hopefully I don't have any errors. And let me show you guys how this works. Go ahead and click 1. Nothing pops up because remember it's greater than 1. Click again and again and bam. Look at that every one of these points generates a list I mean generates um, another item on your list and as that list grows it continues to go from one point to another to another to another and the more points you click your list keeps growing and you supply it with more and more coordinates so that is why you're able to add this cool program of line drawing 2000 and I just said 2000 because it sounded cool that's the name of it so again let me tell you guys how this works one more time. Color, you make an empty list of points because list is one of the parameters because you need to give it a bunch of points in order so it knows what to draw. Then you're right, all right, every time I click the mouse button down, get the coordinates of wherever I click that mouse button and add it to the list called points. If the length of that list is greater than one, then what I want you to do is draw a line from the point to the previous point and that is supplied in this parameter right here and this is just the optional width so that's that for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed um, once you're a pro at drawing points you're ready to move on to my next tutorial so thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next tutorial